New at 10 tonight for the first time we're hearing from relatives of a young couple killed over the weekend in Orange. Someone shot and killed 18 year old Aaliyah Grandio and 23 year old Ptolemus Livings early Saturday morning. Police say they don't know why. But Dejanique, they say they are closing in on a person of interest. 12 News reporter Jordan James live with the latest on the investigation and a plea from loved ones. Yeah, Jordan, there's still a lot of missing details surrounding this case, but one thing that cannot be disputed is that this young couple was deeply loved and now their families are forever changed as they search for answers. It's this moment where reality turned into a nightmare. This is completely unsettled. This should have never, ever happened. Loved ones are left to come to terms with life without Tholomus Livings and Aaliyah Grandigo. The couple was shot and killed inside of an orange home on Saturday. I'm firsthand seeing the results of what these people did, what this man did, but these people who were involved, I, I'm seeing how hurt and how broken and devastated they are. <laughs> Orange police officers have not released many details about the shooting other than that they are pursuing a person of interest who has not been identified. Family friend Kenzie Stevenson says the suspect needs to turn themselves in. Quit being a coward. You already did this. You're not doing anyone any favors. You're bringing everyone down with you. These families deserve justice. They deserve for you to be locked up. Even at just 18 years old, Stevenson believes Grandigo was able to touch a number of lives which makes this loss so painful. She was the most chillest, calmest, sweetest person, didn't bother anyone, and she definitely did not deserve this. I only met TJ once, and when I did, you know, he was very respectful, kind. As loved ones seek answers to their questions, they're calling on the community to come forward with any information that could lead to closure. They're already dealing with such this unfortunate loss that should have never happened, so the least that people can do is help them get through this and get them the, the justice that they deserve. The latest update we got from police was that the person of interest is not from Orange County. Here in the coming days, we should learn more about this developing case. Reporting here live in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.